EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. And off we go from Denver. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now Penix to the air right away. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The rookie from Washington put it right where he needs to. He's got his guys a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Again, it's Robinson. And able to get this to the 31. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They'll throw with Penix. Well, this pass is caught by London. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. That one goes for 24 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. They'll run here with Algier. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Jarnell Mooney. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. So first and 10 now from the 30. The first carry now, this is Williams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On play action, here's Nix on the move to his left. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports.
Second down and a yard. Up the middle, it's Williams. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Falcons grab it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Got a man, it's London. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It's a gain of 35. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellows up front. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Penix. Buying time to his left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And it's caught, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, a five-yard touchdown. And the Falcons go up by two touchdowns. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. That's going to be taken at the goal line, and he'll return it. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. It's a 10-yard loss. Brings up second and 20 at the 9-yard line. Now it's Nix. That's into the hands of McLaughlin. 19 yards there on the pickup. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. It's a game of 19 and brings up third down. Nix to the air. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. To throw, here's Nix. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second 
Operating from the gun, here's Nix. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack, down he goes. Now the Broncos gonna use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. Throwing Nix. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. To throw is Nix. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Nix. Wide open receiver complete. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. And no return forthcoming. It'll be a touchback. And the third quarter will start from the 30. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. Back to throw. Nix, he'll air this one out for Mims. Touchdown! Marvin Mims, 41 yards. And the Broncos come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Lutz good on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. To the air, Penix. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Throw left side, there's London. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you stop the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch it. And they'll come up second and seven. Hand off now to Robinson. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. B. John Robinson taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Falcons have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. So now they operate back from their side of the field here, second and long. Operating from the gun, Nix. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Nix from the shotgun. This is caught. Touchdown, Broncos! Marvin Mims with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Lutz to try to add the PAT. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. 
Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Algier going straight ahead. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, <laughs> carrying it around campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. From the shotgun, it's Penix. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and ten here. On the give, here's Robinson. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And they'll run it here. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. And it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. It's a gain of eight there, and that should be enough to seal the victory. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it's never easy to come into Denver to win. You think all you have to deal with with the altitude, but they got the job done. Well, there's a reason Olympic athletes train nearby. All right, they've got a terrific training center in Colorado Springs. You train at the altitude, the lungs expand, you go down to the regular. Oh, my goodness, they can go all day. And in fact, a lot of visiting teams, when you visit Denver, you know it's, you know it's printed in your locker room. Welcome to the Mile High City. The air is rare. They get in your head that way. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.